Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is about power factor correction in a three phase circuit. And this is on the request of a student uh, we ha who had a confusion about this question. So I'll just try to clarify that. The question says a three phase 440 volt, 51 kilowatt, 60 kVA inductive load operates at 60 hertz and is y connected so the load may be something like this y connected load and these data given are for the load it is desired to correct the power factor to 0.95 lagging what value of the capacitance should be placed in parallel with each load so uh, i hope you have learned already that inductive load uh, creates power lagging power factor and to reduce that lagging power factor we use capacitors in parallel with the load so they reduce the uh, angle or they increase the power factor so first of all if it was just the inductive load then uh, this triangle is representing the real power the reactive power and the complex power now this angle is quite large our aim is to minimize this language angle so for that we add a capacitor in parallel with the load and when we add the capacitor in parallel with the load then our power triangle will get changed like this now the angle is reducing initially s was here now s has come down and so this is the new angle and the reactive portion has now reduced this was the original reactive value now the capacitor has reduced by this amount capacitor has reduced the reactive factor by this amount so the new reactive factor the new reactive power is less so this is the advantage now it is desired to increase the power factor from cos theta 1 to cos theta 2 that is we want to reduce the angle theta so re reducing this angle without altering the real power piece so the, this power should remain same now from here you can see that q1 this one is 10 p times tangent theta we know the tangent formula is uh, perpendicular over base so this is perpendicular this is base q1 over base p is tangent theta similarly q2 is p over tangent theta 2 and so the reduction by the capacitor is qc or the q by capacitor is q1 minus q2 now from this formula we have learned okay now the, from the formula of complex power we we know that s can be written as vm square over z impedance similarly for q the reactive power we can write v rm square over xc the capacity so we are using that formula here that the qc can be written as v rms square over xc whereas xc is actually 1 over omega c and so the whole thing will become omega c v square rms so we'll use this to find qc so from here these two p will be qc over omega v rms square and qc from here is q1 minus q2 which is q1 minus q2 which can be written as p 10 1 at theta 1 minus 10 theta so this is the formula we need to solve actually now uh, important point from uh, mr irwin's book uh, in this Section 9.6, he, he says that we illustrated a simple technique for raising the power factor of the load. 
The method involved judicially selecting a capacitor and placing it in parallel with the load. In the balanced three-phase system, power factor correction is performed in exactly the same manner. So this was for the single phase, and the for three phase it is done in the same manner. Except it is important to note that the S capacitor or Q capacitor or QC specified in this equation is for three capacitor. So we have to keep that mind. For single capacitor, we have to divide QC by 3. In addition, the RMS in equation is the voltage across uh, each capacitor. Now, this was the confusion. In the question, it was given like this, a 3 phase 440 volt, this power. Now, the power and the, the KVA rating, these are all for 3 phase. But uh, what he is saying that this voltage 440 volt is actually the voltage across each load, each capacitor. So this is the point that we have to keep in mind. Okay, so coming back to the question again, this was the question. And this is the diagram. This is now S is given is 60 kVA and the power 51 kVA. And so first of all, we need to calculate this angle theta from the given power and the uh, KV rating. So cos theta can be from the KV rating divided by the power in watt rating or you can from here also you can see that the cosine is uh, hypotenuse uh, base over hypotenuse. So this is when we calculate it becomes 0 0.85. So this is the power factor. Now from here can find the angle theta is cos inverse of 0 0.85 that is 31.7 this angle is 31.7 and now when we have corrected the power factor or that is we are increased the power factor to 95 percent then this angle will reduce it has come down to theta 2 and Theta 2 can be find from cosine inverse of 0 0.95, that is 18.19. Initially, it was 31, and now it has reduced to 18.19. So, we use this, uh, these two angles to solve this formula. The, the, this is the angle, this is the value of the capacitor. And now, this was formula for the single uh, phase circuit. For here, for the three phase, all we have to do is change this P. So for three phase circuit, the formula will be modified as P per phase and other things remaining same. And the power per phase is the total power, which was 51 kilowatt divided by 3, so 17 kilowatt. We'll put this value here, 17 kilowatt, then the tangent theta 1, tangent theta 2. 2 pi 60 and V RMS as I, as I mentioned here that it is the voltage across the capacitor which is given in this question 440 volts so we will use that and solving we find the answer to be 67.82 microfarad so I hope uh, you have been able to follow this please let me know through your feedback thank you